wouldn't it be nice if we only did something once and never had to do it again? Well, it uh, can be done, should be done, and it's a great way for us to be able to uh, build our business and have more impact. Let's get uh, stuck into it right now. I think it would be probably one of the number one avenues on a business owner's list to be able to do something once and uh, not have to do it again. Now, we can all sit here and make excuses as to why that person didn't do it or you know how the system is already there or how this happened or why they didn't. Let's be honest, guys. We're just laying blame and putting it onto someone else for us not actually having something in place so that we can let it go, do it once, and not have to do it again. It ultimately does come down to us. So here's the thing. What if we took a little bit more of the moral and ethical high ground on this uh, and we had a change in our mentality? And that change in mentality is literally, if I'm going to do something once, I'm going to assume, and I should be assuming, that... I'm going to have to do it again at another time. Now, if we stop and look at the catalyst for this uh, happening, we might realize that we can all go ahead and do this each and every day. Uh, We can start with a system. Like if the phone rings, what do we want the person to say and do? If a client wants to cancel, we could have a particular system or some training or a script in place. We could put all those things in place. And I mean, hey, first one to admit, we actually do that. That's Common sense, we should be doing that, right? Uh, If you don't, then great, start with those simple systems. Start with that approach. But the challenge that I start to see a lot is that people start to say over a period of time, oh, we've got it all systemized. We've got everything done and ready to rumble in our team. You know, we've got this and that and blah, blah, blah. But if I then turn around and say to them, what's the number one challenge you have right now? 99 times out of 100, it comes down to time. Uh, Or I ask people, how are you going? And they respond with, oh, we're so busy. And people try and actually then justify it's all good for like busy for good reasons, right? We've got so much of this and that and blah, blah, blah. But ultimately, it still comes down to time. And the vast majority of business owners in our industry, um, particularly anyone who's a great business owner or even a good business owner, in fact, you only have to be half decent and you can still make a good company in the health and medical industry. So anyone who's not... uh, having not busy and moving forward needs to have a good look at a lot of different avenues. But let's not get into that right now. The message here is simply this. Let's change our mentality so that even though you think everything is systemized, what if we actually took those, I'll never do this again, so there's no systemizing it. What if we actually change our mentality and realize no matter how abstract that task or that thing was that you just did, actually is, I guarantee in three months, six months, 12 months, maybe one week, you or someone else will have to do it again. See, so much of our role, 99% of what happens to us in business uh, is cyclic. And so we should be able to start to understand when we overlay numbers and figures, we know now know what's happening. One When we're looking at Teams utilization, we can actually start to predict things. You know, it's why cash flow forecasts are so powerful for the financial uh, industry, for looking at businesses and predicting cash flow and looking for the peaks and troughs that are coming up and then putting proactive strategies in place to make sure the troughs aren't troughs or that they are minimized as best as possible, right? And so we need to keep all of these things in mind as this is the best way for us to be able to move forward. So we first need to understand that we need to admit to ourselves that even though it's a, oh, that's never been done before, I guarantee if we stop and think about it, yes, there was that time two and a half months ago where it almost was the exact same situation with blah, blah, blah. And a lot of these things are cyclic. So let's just park it right now and understand that so many things that are only one-offs, they're not actually one-offs. They will be a one-off again for next week or a one-off next month. 
which means there is actually a pattern, which means there is actually things we could be doing and should be doing to actually counteract that so that we do it once and we never have to deal with it again or deal with it again, all right? So that's the first one. Secondly, if we know that time, whether we say that we're busy because we've got so many clients or so much this, busy is ultimately bullshit. So if time is the biggest factor right now, which it is for all of us, let's be honest, you can have a very, very good business in the health and medical industry with very little effort these days. And so we always want more and we can always do that and have more scale and more and more and more. But ultimately, it's all about us having more time for ourselves or our family or being able to invest that time into somewhere else of our choosing. And that's fine and great. But ultimately, that means that we need to be able to reduce our workload. We need to be able to reduce the tasks or the projects or the time sucking whatever's that is taking our time right now. We shouldn't be really super busy because if we're an efficient and effective business owner and CEO, then we shouldn't be crazily busy. We should only be as busy as we are choosing to allow ourselves to be. And so what we need to do is take a much harder approach to our systems, to our reminders, to our leverage, to our task delegation, to our training. All of these avenues need to be more highly pushed right now so that we literally can take that mentality of everything we do today, I've done once and we never have to do it again. Now, there's always going to be exceptions to the rule. Like I know someone's listening to this right now and screaming, oh, but Jason, you've done one podcast before, so why isn't that done again? Well, quite clearly, it's I before E except after C. There's always exceptions to the rule. If I'm going to be the person that's standing in front of the podcast and the videos and doing all the video blogs and all these type of things and podcasts and whatever, then it has to be me doing it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be real, right? It's also where I have my genius mode. I provide a huge amount of benefit and value for those things moving forward. But for me to have freed up that time, I've had to have been a lot more highly leveraged and been a lot more pressing on my own time to make sure that all of those one percenters, all of those things that I did once now don't have to be done again. So let's start changing our mentality on this. What is it today? If you get to the end of every day, and this is a great takeaway for you to action straight away. What if you got to the end of the day and you literally took that mentality of what's one thing that went wrong today that I need to fix so that I don't have to deal with it again tomorrow? Now, in the early stages of taking this mentality, that'll be just a system you know, where you might have to do a two minute system, video system of how to make a, uh, an appointment on Nucle, right? Maybe it's something as simple as that. Maybe it's a matter of actually putting a script together. Maybe it's a redoing of a professional development, uh, you know, mentoring process with one of the team members. There's stupid amounts of systems that we could actually have in our business. We might need to review, tidy up, modify, improve upon, or do for the first time. But then we start to think deeper on this. What's one thing that went wrong today that we shouldn't have to do again tomorrow? And this is where we start to really dig deep into removing ourselves from that probably 10% of our business that's probably sucking 50% of the life out of us each and every day. They're the, the one percenters. That's the one thing that you need to find today by that question at the end of the day. What's the one thing that went wrong? And if nothing went wrong today, then what's one thing that I did today that if I put my mind to it and invest a little bit of time, money and effort into, I could create an avenue where I wouldn't have to do it again. Now, that might sound like a really long sentence, and it is. But if you took that mentality every day, what's one thing that I did today that I could invest a little bit of time, money or effort into over the coming days to have it systemized, automated, leveraged, etc. So I never have to do it again. It's a new form of freedom that will literally buy back hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of yourself in your business, with your team, with your family in the months ahead. And that's the message of this. Let's be more brutal on this. Let's not say, oh, we've got all the systems. This isn't about phone scripts. This isn't about you know, those little bits and pieces that you've, you know, been using for years. This is about you digging deeper and understanding and agreeing that you've still working too hard, too much. There's too much reliance on you. 
There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be, is simply put. So we all need to maybe pull our head out of our backside a little bit and realise that there's other people that can do this better than us. There are certain things that we do that could be done more efficiently, effectively, you know, whatever, better than what we are. So let's actually identify those. Let's invest the time right now so that even that one thing that happened today that I I haven't done it for six months, I'm not going to waste time on it, really, because every day, every second day, every third day, one of those every six-month things is happening and it's sucking your time and as a net result, you're always going to feel like you're on the bit of the hamster wheel. So let's break the hamster wheel. Let's identify one thing every day and if it takes us two or three days to fix, rectify, modify, do what needs done, then fine. But at least if we're asking that question at the end of every day, we're going to step ourselves through that mentality of being able to do more with each individual task and get it done without us so that we never have to do those things again. We slowly make ourselves redundant. We slowly but truly become a CEO of our business and our teams, etc. And that's truly where you have a massive amount of impact to yourself and your team and your family. And it leaves you more time to have more freedom and to choose where you want to then scale, have more success and help other people. So let's go ahead, find that every day, the one thing that we need to dig a little bit deeper on to do that we'll never have to then do again. I'll talk to you again very soon. Hey guys, thank you very much for listening to another episode of the Profitable Practice Podcast. I would love nothing more than for you to be able to leave a review. I get so much joy out of listening and reading the amazing things that you guys say about this. So please subscribe to our channel, leave a review and share it with your friends. Let's get some more fantastic information out there so all of us can grow the industry together. Cheers for now.